Nonprofit volunteer run retail store. What we do at 10,000 Villages is provide a marketplace for artisans in 38 developing countries around the world and we serve to sell their product so that we can order more and keep them working for a living. It's all about sustainable, long term, fair income for them. Once a customer sees or hears that story, uh, they feel like they can do something right here, right now. Um, that is the best way for us to sell the mission of 10,000 Villages and Fair Trade, uh, being the voice of the artisans, always. I was able to visit a couple of countries in East Africa. I went to Kenya and Uganda and visited basket weavers there. And then I was able to visit India and Bangladesh as well and meet all those wonderful ladies. And that was a great time to be able to make connections with some of our artisans, to sit with them in their house, in their community. Fair trade is about cash advances. We make sure the artisans are paid 50% up front and they receive the rest of the payment for the order when their items ship. So when you shop at 10,000 Villages, you can be sure that the earnings of them, those products are going back to the artists and craftspeople in their home country so they can get housing, education, and health care. With Fair Trade, we also sustain cultural traditions. For instance, we work with the nomadic people, the Tuaregs in Niger, and the jewelry that we bring in is all hand-tooled the designs that they use on our jewelry are cultural and symbolic to them. So if there wasn't a marketplace for their designs here, that art form would just go by the wayside. So fair trade really helps to preserve the cultural integrity and identity of people around the world. Each piece is a beautiful work of art. You can hold two pieces together and one of them will be slightly different than the other. And that's part of the character. That's part of the human nature, the quality of each piece, is that each person touched this in their own way and made it their own version. When you walk in the store, everything's handmade. Everything's built by artisans and craftspeople very creatively with the, with the materials they have in their home country. Uh, jewelry that we get from Ethiopia, it is made from recycled bullet casings and the jewelry that we get from Cambodia is made from recycled bomb casings and that just really uh, strikes me deeply that that's what that's the materials that they have to work with in those countries and what that means for their history and traditions. At 10,000 Villages we also help the artisan with design assistance if there is a product for instance that maybe isn't selling well rather than moving on from them and going with a whole different group, we actually work with them to maybe color code the product, add a little bit of more practicality to, to an element. We work with them to ensure that their product is going to sell here in the American marketplace because again, it's all about making sure they are paid a fair living wage and that we can continue to reorder products from them to keep them working for a living. People all around the world want to make a fair living. They want to be able to put food on their table, provide for their families long term. We all want that. We want that here. So fair trade enables artisans outside of the U.S. earn a fair, sustainable income so that they can feed their families, send their children to school. So if you can find it fair trade, you should buy it fair trade mentor told me, he said, you can't save the world, you just work on your corner of it. And this allows me to expand my corner and, and uh, have a little bit more global effect in, in what I'm doing. So that is a big plus for me. Uh, 
Um, we love seeing Austinites in our store and we love to see when they, the light bulb goes off like, yeah, I can make a difference just by buying something in this store or volunteering my time. Um, we're really grateful to the community of Austin and we look forward to many years uh, with fair trade in Austin, Texas. Ba-da-ba-da. Ba-ba-ba-da. Ba-ba-ba-da. Ba-ba-ba-da.